My name is Peter Hoyer. I'm 16 years old. I'm going into my junior year of high school. My name is Heidi Baumgartner. I'm going to be a junior in Hunter College High School in New York City. My name is German Diagama, and I'm a 16-year-old senior at Aviation High School in Long Island City, New York. <laughs> I went up to the Copernic Space Camp, which is where I met German and then later Heidi. And there we did a number of projects. We, um, again, related to space science. German, Heidi, and I were actually up at the observatory watching a meteor shower, and the rest of the camp was in the side room watching a cheesy old movie that we decided we didn't want to see. So we were playing around with some lasers and doing some different experiments. And we were sitting there, and we were thinking of different experiments we could do with the equipment we had on hand. And everything we thought of, we realized we needed more complicated apparatus for. Instead of using um, insulated wire, you use bare wire with insulating coils that radiates heat more easily. This would be so much easier if we had a particle accelerator. You know, think of all the cool things we could do with a particle accelerator. And we kind of laughed that off then. We were leafing through my particle physics notebook, and Peter knows the diagram, and he jokingly said, you know, we should build one of these. And as we researched more and more, we figured this is actually possible for us to do. And the next summer at camp, we spent a lot of time in the Binghamton University Library looking at books on particle accelerators. And we were just doing research mostly the whole year because we had no money to build it. And we applied for a few grants, uh, none of which came through for us. But then we eventually just decided to send out a big uh, one letter, and one of those was to the American Institute of Physics. And um, they eventually passed that letter on down to JLab. I was actually really shocked, as I'm sure everybody else was. It's, it's actually going to work. I didn't believe it at the beginning. For um, the JLab, Peter just said they would be willing to fund it. And I just kind of looked awestruck for 10 seconds and said, what? Now, we have real help. We have parts. Um, we have funding, and it's, it's going to work out. Uh, JLab is an accelerator facility and lab down in Newport News, Virginia. In case, shouldn't we not have fragmented magnets? That's a possibility. I don't know if they're going to have a C magnet though that's the right size. We have to have that 2.5 inch gap. They do have a big 12 um, giga electron volt accelerator down there, which is very large. Our goal is to be the first teenagers to create antimatter, to produce and detect positrons or anti-electrons. So we designed our accelerator around that. Uh, it's we're planning to accelerate protons to 1.3 mega electron volts, which is more than enough energy to produce uh, positrons in a collision. So what we're going to be doing is taking our particle beam and smashing it into a small metal target. And we'll be able to figure out from that by watching what comes off with a special detector whether we've managed to produce some antimatter. Wait, you're still using that same wire from downstairs? No. No, but it's, it's, it's very similar stuff. Antimatter is really interesting because it has so many applications, you know, it can it has the potential to become a major energy source. It is used in a lot of medical treatments. But we're also planning to do some other experiments such as possibly penetration depth of protons into tissue with applications of uh, in proton cancer therapy or possibly proton beam lithography. With all those applications, it's still really expensive to make. And the accelerators they're using to make it cost millions and millions of dollars, whereas our accelerator is going to cost no more than, you know, a couple thousand dollars. Heidi and German are great. We complement each other very well. And when it, whenever we get stuck, we usually, we, Heidi and I will argue for hours. Peter lives in Maryland, while German and I live in New York. So we've had to uh, work over the internet. Then German will sign online and have it solved in under a minute. The best part of working them, with them is they act, I think, very maturely. My end goal for my career is I'd love to work in an accelerator. Um, I just went to Fermilab. I love it. I'd be fine anywhere else that has a big accelerator. What I'd really like to do is work um, either as a, one of the particle physicists working on the actual experiments, or I'd, I've also considered actually working in the accelerator division and helping to do improvements on the, on the accelerator and studying different new methods of accelerating particles more efficiently. Um, I'm probably going to be an experimental physicist or, or be doing research in, in chemistry or material science. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to specialize in, but uh, almost certainly research. Change physics in some way or make an impact on it to uh, benefit the actual scientists themselves and people in, with what I've studied.